Hello everyone, Brahmin Island, Brahmin. Now let's get to the mods. The Karambit CSGO inspired curved knife by Mike Moore adds a beautiful knife to the game. Damage is 30, this thing swipes fast, and it looks fantastic. There are two options for the blade, standard, and your shiny shiny clean. Now obviously you don't hold this knife like the usual ones in Fallout 4, so when you do equip it you're not going to be seeing it much. But besides that, it's a pretty sweet knife, and uh, I do like the different style, so very nice. Standalone Pipe Shotgun by Matt's a Human and Stefan and Goodell. Once again, mod authors are making me enjoy using pipe weapons. There are a good amount of mods for the Pipe Shotgun. It has two barrels, two stocks, no sights, but muzzles include bayonet, double bayonet, or a compensator, which improves recoil. The shotgun only has one round per shot, which makes sense since it's literally just a pipe. But the base damage is 162, so it's pretty good for taking enemies down. This is great, and I'm always open for more pipe weaponry. And uh, yeah, this is fantastic and powerful at the same time, so good stuff. IF-54 Battle Rifle by Skibida. Another mishmash of weapon parts, the IF-54 is a great rifle with a ton of variety with mods. You can install just about any receiver. As you can see here, the list is huge. Concerning the other mods, there are five barrels, five stocks, eight magazines, 14 sights, and four miscellaneous mods, including the bayonet, compensator, muzzle brake, and suppressor. Modern Firearms Gunsmith Edition by Idle Sheep and or White Shades? Mm -hmm. This mod adds three modern pieces of weaponry, the AR, ACR, and MP5. These are included in leveled lists as well, so enemies will appear with them. And this is also how you mod your modern weapons, as you can't simply craft them with uh, scrap alone. So you'll definitely be keeping an eye out when you're fighting enemies though, because the amount of mods for these weapons is enormous. I'm just going to run through as many as I can while talking here. I'm just going to show them all. The MP5 has the least amount of modification ability, but both the ACR and AR have a huge amount of customization. You can also choose if your weapon is full or semi-auto, and when editing the weapon you can choose to show all parts and RAS attachments, only show accessories or rail adapter system, or just show the main gun parts. This mod is fantastic, and the mod authors have mentioned that they're going to add more weapons in the future, so I'll be keeping an eye on this. Really good stuff. Very nice. Legree's Helmet Collection Standalone by Legree. Five new helmets are added from the Automatron DLC that were previously not able to be worn. Each one has stats that increase ballistic, radiation, or energy resistance. These all look wonderful and really menacing, too. I enjoyed wearing this with power armor because it gives your character a definite badass look and all these are just fantastic. The skulls look beautiful and uh, I, I think my favorite was the uh, the robot one. There you go, that one, yeah. <laughs> these are great. Moddable Buddy by C. Dante. Simply said, this mod adds the Drinkin' Buddy torso to the buildable bot station. Simply go to your torso section and select Drinkin' Buddy and now you have a beer producing bot. No, not really. He still does not make beer. You can install any other mods though, legs and arms of any type will fit. No eyes though as the drinking torso doesn't have any place to put them. Pretty sweet idea though, and drinking buddy can now kick some ass. Mm. Automatron More Weapons by Corel 2015. This allows you to select robot engagement length and adds a number of new weapons too. First off you can set up combat length to short for melee, medium for regular ranged weapons, and long for sniper or other long distance weapons. What range you select makes the weapons that are set for that range work better. So if you had a minigun arm but select short range, a melee arm would be more accurate than the minigun and perform probably better. New weapons included are 9 new minigun types, 5 new stealth blades, 3 new hammer saws, and a legendary freezing electrical shish kebab. I mainly got this for the miniguns, but the other unique weapons are pretty cool too, and the mod author has mentioned that they're going to be adding more, so that's definitely something to look forward to, and this is uh, pretty good, and adds some extra weapons that your robots can deal some damage with. Craftable Hats by the DB Crew. This adds three hats to their respective robots. I'm pretty sure the mod author is currently trying to get the hats to work on every bot, but for the time being, they're restricted to the hats that were originally made for, like, uh, for instance, the Chef hat is for the Protectron head, Ironside's hat on the Assaultron head, and the Bowler on Mr. Gutsy heads. The hats are listed under the head category, and currently it has, like, the base ID name. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. It's not the most flattering thing to have in your submenu, but it's worth it when you've got a good old Chef Protectron. Oh, yeah. 
Gonna, gonna chop up some potatoes. Mm -mm. Advanced bubble turret set by CC Mads. Bubble turrets are sometimes easy to kill and sometimes not so easy to kill. This mod allows you to flip the tables and be a douchebag to anyone trying to attack your settlements. Along with the standard laser, plasma, cryo, minigun, and flamer, there are a number of unique bubble turrets that come with this mod, such as the broadsider, EM pulse, fat man, liberty prime laser, missile, and zeta wave. And those aren't even all of them, there are a bunch of other ones, uh, different variations of lasers, and there are a few unique lasers as well, uh, pertaining to characters who have weapons, or certain factions as well, like the Institute's lasers. When you install the mod, you can choose if the turrets need power or not. Obviously, I chose uh, ones that don't need power, but you can choose it to be more realistic, or just realistic in general, because otherwise these are kind of overkill. If you're going to install this and you want to have a realistic thing, I, I would suggest installing the one where you need power and such. We is my Gorilla Grenades by Kimothy John Gunn. Very simple mod that replaces the synth relay grenade to teleport gorillas instead of synths. Throw a bunch of these little babies and see what a mob of gorillas can do to your enemies. So, that's gonna do it for this week's Fallout 4 mods. Hope you all enjoyed everyone. If you have any suggestions from mods, put them in the description and I'll check them out. So, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. I know I did. And I shall see you in the future. Away, Robo Chefs.